Hello YouTube, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to Wrexham Reborn. This is the series where we're going to take, well hopefully going to take Wrexham from the Conference Premier all the way to the Premier League and become Wales's top club. That's going to be the ultimate aim of this series. Initially we're going to try and take, uh, overtake uh, Newport County as being Wales's third best team. Obviously Swansea City in the Premier League, Cardiff City in the Championship and Newport County in League 2. We're only one promotion away from that so that is doable early on in this series. And hopefully we can sort of get Wrexham back into sort of League 2, League 1 where they belong. And I got some history with Wrexham. I actually managed them on LMA Manager 2003. Um, going back a long time, obviously, the LMA Manager 2003. Played it on the PlayStation 2. And the success I had there was tremendous. I took them from the fourth tier, which was League 2 back then, all the way to the Premier League. So I was quite happy with that. We took them up a few divisions. Um, and Darren Ferguson was an absolute beast back then as well. So... Uh, I was quite happy with that, but anyway, we're going to just go over like the, the overview of this series, and we'll get um, get you to see some of the stuff that I want to talk about. So we'll start off with the squad. So if you go on ability, you can see Jordan White is our best striker. He's currently injured. He's 24, Scottish striker. Uh, let's have a look at him. So first touch is good, 12. Finishing is 14. That's going to be really good at this level. Jump reach 14. So he's got he's got potential. Uh, Jordan White has. Wrexham's main striker. I think he's going to be the person we build our team around. I think. He can also play behind the striker in the attacking uh, the camera, or he can sort of play on the right-hand side, although he's unconvincing on the right-hand side. He used to play for Livingston, Sterling, Falkirk, Clyde. Okay, he's been around the place, been around Scotland anyway. For John Rooney, midfielder right, or attacking midfielder centre rather. Um, again, not bad, got lots of green. His free kick taker is 15, he's going to be our free kick taker, I think. I can see him being our free kick taker with the start of uh, 15. Other players were here, look, look, jumping at me. Jordan Evans, only a youngster, 20. And he's a left back. He's going to be our main left back then. Room to improve. I can see he's got a lot of greyed out areas here. Th crossing's not bad though. 13 as a left back. Get him up the wing, get some crossing to Jordan Wright. You can see that working out there perhaps. So we're going to try and bring him on a little bit at the age of 20. He'll be our main left back, I think. I think there's going to be some room for improvement here. Gone to tactics. And you can see that uh, there is room for improvement. The midfielder right position at the moment, this, I've gone to quick pick basically, gone to quick pick like this. It picks the current available team, best team as far as fitness and stuff goes. And at the moment you can see our right midfielder's only got two stars. That's gotta be improved because we can't, you know, I wanna try and get the three and a half star at least for all our squad in all our positions and take it from there. Our goalkeeper's actually really good. Shwan Jalal, four and a half star rating. Okay, we're gonna keep him. He's Iraqi in Iraq. Uh, he's not international though, is he? No, he's not an international player. Based in England, uh, nationality, other nationality. Okay, he's English as well. Fluent in English, fluent in Arabic. He's going to be our main keeper then. Obviously, he's got a good rating, so we've no, no reason to change him at all at four and a half star rating. How old is he? Hang on, how old is he? Is he young? Please be young. 32, that's young enough. That's good. You can have a good few seasons with a 32 year old goalkeeper. So we won't change the goalkeeper. We're going to be changing a few of our other positions, though. Uh, try and get some other players in that are going to improve the squad. That's going to be one of the things we're going to be looking for in this, um, well, between this episode and the next episode, basically. Uh, if we look at the schedule, we should have a look at what we've got. So, Colwyn Bay away is our first game as a friendly. We've got Brackley, Kilmarnock and Lex in friendlies. So, what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm going to be playing these friendlies. I'm going to be bringing some transfers in that I think are going to work out for us between this episode and the next episode. In the second episode, then, after this one, you'll see the first home game against Dover live. It'll be a live commentary. And I'll just go over, then, in that episode, what we've done in those pre-season friendlies as well, just to give you an idea of what we're... Uh, doing with this series. In the meantime, I'm going to work on a couple of formations. I'm going to set up some set pieces. I'm going to try and bring a couple of players in and move a couple of players on that I think are, are going to be crap, basically. Before we carry on, though, let's have the club. This is why I wanted to do the series because you can see they were a League One team before in 95 96 and then they sort of stayed there for a while, then eventually came crashing down 2003, back up 2004, back down again. They stayed in League 2 for a couple of years and then down to the conference. And they've been in the conference ever since. They're a bit of a sleeping giant, Wrexham. They always used to be sort of Wales' third club above Wrexham and then uh, above, sorry, above Newport. And then Newport went up, Wrexham went down and this is where we currently stand now with Wrexham in these lower, in this lower division. And, they, you know, they've had 10th finish, 11th, 4th, 2nd. It really went like a second but obviously didn't go up even though they were second. 5th, 17th, 11th and then 8th. So they've been a mid-table kind of conference team. We want to try and push them up to that next level. That's going to be the aim. Obviously, we've got the official kits of Wrexham. We've got the official faces and the official badge as well. All the um, official graphics I'm using in this series will be in the description below. It'll be a link to sort it out. That's where I've been getting all my stuff from. The cutout faces, the badges, the kits, etc. So go over there if you're interested in that. Obviously, the stadium is 15,500 seat the stadium. Um, if I go to facilities, 
15 and a half thousand seat stadium. Well, sorry, it's 10,000 and a half seat stadium, but it holds 15,000 in total. It's got good training facilities as well. The youth stuff could be improved, it's going to go adequate, but we'll try and, you know, try and get something going. They maybe get an affiliate or two, see how things go. Actually, do we have any affiliates? Uh, we do, okay. Um, Kevin Druids, Colwyn Bay, Lex and Press Statin. So they're all affiliated to us. We could try and get some, I, I wouldn't mind getting a big affiliate to us, like like a, a Premier League or a Championship cl Club, so we can get a couple of good loan players. I think that would be a good thing, because there's not going to be much money with Wrexham. They are quite a poor team. Um, especially at this level, so uh, as far as money goes, so it's important that we try and get that going um, ASAP. Let's have a little look at the league as well, the other teams that are in the league. So we've got Aldershot, Barrow, Boreham Wood, Braintree, Bromley, Chester, Dagenham and Redbridge, Dover, Eastleigh, Forest Green, Gateshead, Geisley, Lincoln, Macclesfield, Maidstone, North Therapy, Solihull Moors, Southport, Sutton United, Torquay, Tramia Rovers, Woking, Wrexham and York. That's the division, the 24 teams that are here. And the media think that we are going to be finishing fifth. Okay, so they got us at odds of 19 to 1 to finish fifth. That's not too bad. If we did finish fifth, then obviously that would be a playoff place. We'd just be clinching a playoff place and a chance to go up then via the playoffs. Only the first team goes up automatically. So positions two, three, four, and five would get a playoff place. We'll have to see how we go there. Key players. They've actually got one of our key players on here, Jordan White, as our striker. They think he's going to be a key player in this division up front. I'm hoping that's going to be the case because he's our main mainstay in our team, the main player. He is the star, hopefully. And yeah, we'll take it from here. We'll see how we go. So yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much what the series is going to be. Um, it'll be a couple of... It'll be a live com commentary probably every episode. And then in between each episode, I'll play a few matches. I'll record it. And I'll show you the highlights of those matches as well. I'm going to end this episode shortly. But I'm going to be taking my time now, working on formation, bringing a couple of players in, moving a couple of players on. And then I'll see you in episode two then. And... We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, if you drop a comment on this video with any suggestions you have for this series, let me know and I will try and implement those uh, changes or theories or whatever you have in the next episode. I've been Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>